So what do we have on our board? Um, the first thing we've got is our health and safety and we also use this thing called a safety cross. The next thing we've got here is uh, key comms. So we use that for just any general type of communication that we want to um, do. We also have a little section here called problems and um, really that's supposed to have all the key problems that are happening um, on farm. We then have a maintenance section. Um, as you can see, the team split it up into farm and shed. So this is all the maintenance things that are outstanding that we need to focus on. Another section that we have here is the supplies and cows to watch area. Then is our key metrics. So this is all our key things that we want to be tracking. And the team have totally um, taken ownership of this. So they do this. They capture all the data and they update this on a weekly basis. Um, and it means that everyone knows where we're at uh, in terms of all of our key metrics. Then we've got another section here which is around people um, and our grazing plan. We put this, pla this people section up and the idea was to um, put sort of smiley faces and so forth. Um, we haven't really used it and so what we're going to do now is change that to, to suit what the team actually needs. Um, and that's the great thing about this process. You don't have to make it perfect first time round. It's going to be an evolving thing. Then we've got our grazing plan here as well. That corresponds to our uh, farm map that we've got over here with all our paddocks. And then another thing that we have is all of our graphs. Um, and basically these get updated weekly. They're based on all those metrics and they're tracking basically our targets versus our actual, so the team knows exactly how we're going in terms of trends. This is our standardised season plan, so it's basically a document showing everything that we do over a year, and that goes then into this weekly plan and uh, action plan, and each team member takes uh, certain actions. But hopefully that's given you some idea of some things that you can add to your visual management board when you're developing it uh, with your team.